got you stuck. Got, got you stuck off, 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 off the rail. Oh man, welcome to the special edition of the Audacity Podcast. Very of special. Of course, you that's right, very special. Of course, you know I am the man on the street. And this is the mad professor living in the booth. That's right, man. I had to call my brother up. Oh man. I was on Facebook chopping up our videos. I was sitting outside having a drink, smoking a cigar, ladies and gentlemen. And I happened to see one of my um one of my friends. She posted on a Facebook. Shout out to Sabrina Solomon. She, she put on a Facebook, guilty. And I was like, guilty, guilty in all counts. And you can see my background. Oh, I'm talking about the <laughs> Ernest Don himself. Mad Professor, where were you when you heard this news? When you heard this news? Man, I was sitting on my sitting on my sofa watching watching the news about the break, playing a stupid ass game on my phone as I tend to do when I have nothing else to do. Uh-huh. But um I just finished washing dishes. So, you know, the old house slave was doing what he do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you the Negro, please. Yeah, I'm gonna give you that early in the goddamn show. <laughs> but yeah, man, yeah. I don't care what nobody say. This is historic in its own right. Whether or not yes. it gets overturned on appeals, this yes. is this is historic. I don't care what yeah. no one says. And, and you know, Matt Professor, you can tell I've been drinking too, because you see my voice is flowing. You see, when I have my drink, <laughs> bro, my voice just flows, man. Y'all, y'all could tell, y'all could tell when the man on the street don't have a drink. I've been drinking since 11 o'clock today, so my voice is really flowing today. And I'm gonna drop a bomb for myself. Well, see that that that's that's like you know, some singers will get one yeah. in before they hit the stage to get that voice going straight. They'll hit a shot. And that's what it is. The man or tree had his drink, had a cigar, and my voice is going good. But back to this thing here, man. Yeah. When I when I saw it, uh, my, my first my first impression was I can't believe that they found him guilty. Because I knew one person on that on that on that um that jury was gonna side with him or feel some type of compassion because he's from New York. You know, everybody back in the day, they glorified Donald Trump. But mm-hmm. I guess they saw the, the amount of evidence and the, hey, they voted. They voted to um to convict him. You know, my thing was I, I, I honestly didn't think he'd get through only because mm. I felt Matt. I mean, I, I they wouldn't find him guilty only because I figured that he'd have a supporter sneak their way onto the jury and to not be objective in any of the um, evidence that they were hearing. So and, I'm. And- I'm and and you know that's what that's what the, all the MAGA supporters have been doing anyway. Is yes. you can't give them enough evidence that he's guilty of something. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know I, I totally agree with you, man, Professor, because it seems like he's Teflon Don. He he he's the mm-hmm. what's, what's that what's that um that guy used to be before he got convicted of a crime. Oh man, he died of cancer too. Oh man, what's his name? Oh, the, the gangster. Know, yeah, I know uh, you're talking about it. White hair, John, white and black John pepper Gotti. hair. Yeah, John Gotti. Gotti. You know, remember John Gotti? He was the. T- they called him the Teflon they called Don. Him Teflon Don, yeah, yeah, because he was every chance they had a charge against him, man. Somehow he seems to just, you know, it just got out of it until they finally got him and they right. convicted him of the crime, and then of course he died in jail. But the same thing's going on with um Donald Trump. It seems as though that he can say whatever he want to say, and people. They they will find a way to say no. That's he didn't do that. Or 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 oh, oh, it's the government. Oh, it's Biden. It, it, or, yeah. or, or, it's, or it's Obama. Yeah. They you know they're going after him, and, and, and they they would make excuses for him. See, that was always my issue with this. Is um, soon as they'd say, oh, this is a political witch hunt. Well, what do yes. you think you guys were doing with Hunter Biden? You're yes. trying to take down Joe Biden by saying his son was crooked. Everybody knows his son was crooked. Everybody yeah. knows his son did things against the law. But yeah, yeah. where does that where does where does Joe Biden meet up in all of that? And, and you know, I say the same thing because he, he wasn't in his cabinet. He right. wasn't in his cabinet at all. So why would y'all go after him just to get? A, I know they try to say that. I guess you know with, with Hunter Biden with the Ukraine, they gave him money or whatever whatever business he was in, and they try to tag that with with um with um President Biden. But he's his father. Of course right. they're going to talk. If you come right. to me and ask me for some money, I'm going to give you some money. Hey, right. you, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're going to do with the money, but for them to try to do that witch hunt and try to appease, because that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to appease no, Donald course. Trump. Of course. And, and and now they got eggs in the face because that didn't go anywhere. Right. Good. Now, I'm t- go, go, go ahead. ahead. I'm sorry. Go, no, no. I was about to say, I was about to say, so what are they going to say now about what just happened to Donald Trump? What, and, and see, that's the thing about all of this is they keep saying it was a political witch hunt. The Biden DOJ did this. No, 12 yeah. citizens in New York yes. decided to bring the case against him because yes. that's how a damn grand jury works. And that's now 
12 of his peers saw, found him guilty on 34 accounts. That is how the law is set up to work. So I don't want to hear this. Oh, it's a political witch hunt. It's a political witch hunt. Oh, he not guilty. Well, guess what? Somebody found him guilty. That's right. A, a group of 12 people from the city he's from found right. his ass guilty. So and, and I don't want to hear that he's not. And, and you know, and the craziest part is because you're going to get those people out there. I know I already see it's coming tomorrow. <laughs> it's probably coming now. Uh oh, uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Message, hold on. Mr. You know who it is. Oh, I got to be my baby bad Joe. <laughs> you oh, know okay. who it is. Oh, what you say, Joe? <laughs> the man planning a rally right now to collect some money from his constituents to go do something stupid again. And it's absolutely true. It, it's right. absolutely true. I mean, without question that that's what's going to happen. He's probably planning his next rally now. I, yeah, I'm, it, I mean, it, come on. It's crazy. It's crazy that people are willing to give him this money and and and, and to see how, like I said, what they say, what, what what's the proverb they say, fooling his money, assume uh, parted. Okay, thank you, because that's exactly what it is. If you're a fool and you want to contribute to his party, that that's on you. But I, I can't see how you can still you can still roll with a man that have conviction that goes against what right. you truly believe. Right. And and see, this is the thing that I that I um posted on someone's video yesterday and I was actually going to do a video on this myself until this all happened okay. is people want to say it's a political witch hunt. But Trump and his family have been in court their whole his whole damn life. He's been in and out of court. I mean, so don't don't hit me with that. This is political. He's always been in and out of court for tax evasion, not paying um, his yes. the people that work for him. I yes. mean, over and over, his housing discrimination. Yes. Over and over, his whole damn life, he's been in and out of court. And I keep wanting to ask people, y'all keep saying this political witch hunt, when he's been in and out of court his whole life, when did he become a man of God like y'all keep saying he is? Because all of a sudden, he's a man of God, and he's never spoke of God a day in his doggone life until he decided to run for president. So why do y'all keep falling for the same stupid grift over and over with this man? Oh, I'm not going to... I'm going to show y'all my... Um, my my what was my tax papers after that's the right. IRS audit that's been going on 25 that's right. damn years now. And oh, that's all. Right. Mexico's gonna build the wall. No, he took that money from the Department of Education. Um I mean over and over he constantly lies and lies and lies and people are like, oh yeah, well he did he really did do it. No, he didn't. No, that's he right. didn't. I mean he did this. Yeah. <laughs> he paid for, yeah, oh, uh, for yeah. a point oh, yeah. started to keep quiet. He did oh, this. Yeah. Oh yeah, and and and, and 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 don't don't forget the um the rape charge. What's what's my girl right? Um, um E.G. Carroll, E.G. E. Carroll. That's right. Exactly, and that and the sad thing about it is, oh, I don't think he raped her when he admitted on 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 an audio tape on on audio that he grabbed women by the vaginas and they don't do nothing about it. He he grabbed women and kissed them because he's a star with money and they don't do nothing about it. So come on, how can y'all not think that he's a sexual assaulter over and over and over again that he doesn't sexually assault people? He clearly does. He's admitted to doing it. Now there's degrees of him saying that he's done it, ooh, ooh, but Professor guess what? It, sexual assault is sexual damn assault. assault. I don't give a damn right. what you well, how you look at it. I yeah. mean, come on, give me a fucking break, people. And that and that's the thing I, I say about two math professor. You know, Donald Trump. I, I say he's the biggest con man that ever been in, in this world to me. Right. And I can't I can't say what other people see in him because if I was, well, I didn't drink the Kool Aid, so I don't no, see it. No. I don't see a a a, a, a person that has uh, um, some type of um, um, conscience or some type of, of any type of. Damn, what's the word? You're missing my mind. It's how I've been drinking. But any type, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything. You can you say can the see, simple word scruples. Any yeah, a person scruples, with scruples. Thank you. thank you. You can see that his, his, his vision doesn't align with yours. And, right. And that's the thing that gets me because I know a lot of people that support Donald Trump. And, you know, and I look at him and I was and I say to myself, me knowing you, I know that you don't live the way that Donald Trump lives. Right. I know that you don't believe the things that Donald Trump says. But yet, you you you're gonna vote for him? You're gonna follow. We I know somebody that's a Mexican. That 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 is a Mexican that support Donald Trump, and he's talking Dude, about your people. On 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 Telemundo, they just was interviewing somebody who, and I understand the damn word he said because it was all in Spanish, and I don't yeah. understand Spanish the way I used to. But yeah. he had on a MAGA hat, so I know what the hell he was saying. Yeah, and and yeah. I'm like, he don't want your dark ass no. here. And that's what I keep trying to get these black people to understand. He don't care about your dark ass. Not one yeah. damn bit. We keep saying, oh, 
we going to be field slaves and this to the Democratic Party. Well, what are you to the Republican Party? Seeing this how right now, they're the ones who don't want you to get paid on in any way. Republicans yeah. stand against um, minimum wage and in, in, exactly. um, minimum wage raising. They stand against um, student loan forgiveness, which affects 85 percent. 85 percent of the people on in this country that has student loan is black yes, so right. they stand against you on that they stand against you on everything they don't even want your ass to vote but that's the party you think has your best interest at heart yeah i mean give yeah. me a goddamn break people why i i don't i i don't understand the is the democratic party perfect hell no there yeah, is no exactly. perfect political party that's right but guess what there's only one political party that stands for people being able to be who they are, to vote the way they want to vote, to be able to vote, period. Yeah. And, and, and then, I mean, don't, come they, on, don't, man. Hey, don't, don't, don't forget um, women's rights. It's, they, they, it, it, they, they're that, trying that, that, to take the women's rights to, to choose to do what they want to do with their body. Don't dude, forget that one. The, the, no, I'm going to tell you what the secret one is that most people don't recognize. Every most Republican states are trying to do away with at cause um, divorce. I think it's called where you can just get a divorce because you want to get a divorce. They want mm. you to have to have a reason like abuse to get out of a out of a marriage. Mm. I mean, mm. come on, man. They they trying to they trying to make this step foot wife thing real. Or yeah. the, what was the other show that that just stopped um, a couple years ago um, about the about the about other women carrying women's baby. I can't remember the damn name of it for some reason. Now it escapes me. But that is what they're trying to do now. And like I said, it's so sad that you that you'll have some women who back this. I know mm -hmm. that, that you'll have family that that supports this. And the yeah. thing of it is that killed me is you you have two things going against you. You're black and you're a female. Do you yeah. think they really care about you? Because the yeah. only thing they had your ass doing back in the day was feeding their babies because their wives didn't want to take the time to do it. I mean, come on, man. God damn, the math professor's own one, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, see, we, oh haven't we haven't talked politics in a long time. <laughs> That's what I'm about. So you know hey, I got oh, all man, this get, saved up. And let's I take this you. back to Mr. Let's take this back to ex-president Trump because I get tired of hearing people call his ass President Trump. Exactly. Let's take it back to this some bitch. He's been <laughs> he's been falsifying business records his whole damn life. His whole life he's been hiding money. He's taking money from his dad in a in a in a in the um in exactly. a case of a ten million dollar loan to try to mm -hmm. keep a, a casino afloat. Okay. Yes. He falsified. Yeah, he held. He held. He hid those business records and falsified them to the point where he can't have a casino in New Jersey nor Vegas anymore. That's right. So I mean, come on, people. He's been a con. They don't call him Don the Con for no reason no, at all. That's right. He earned yes. that. He earned that. I'm and, sorry he, for yelling. Let me lower my no, voice. No, 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 hell no, man. I need you to keep going, man, Professor. Because <laughs> damn, this, this is why I want to get on here. Uh oh, that's my classmate right there. But speaking truth, how you don't, doing? Shout out. How you doing, Taylor? That's, that's my classmate right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. Exactly. You speaking truth, man. You speaking truth to power, like they say. And, and the crazy part about it is that he's been convicted by a group of his peers. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? It, it, it's not. It's not somebody that that don't know him. You know, these people live in the state that he was born in. Right. So they they know that he's been this type of person, like you saying earlier, his whole life. Mm hmm. And, and, and the, the thing and what I was about to say, my professor is and the key is Michael Cohen had the tape. That's what I was about to bring up. That he had the tape. This person was considered <laughs> Donald Trump even called this person his cleaner. Mm hmm. Yes. His I'm, fixer. Yes. His fixer. So, yes. I mean, and then you're going to come out and say he like he went to jail for hiding something for Donald Trump. Are you out of your mind? I mean, come on. So, so what does he have? What does he have? He's been to jail. He didn't get a part in like every like Steve exactly. Bannon and all of them did. Exactly. So what does he have to hide now? He don't yeah. have a damn thing to hide no more. And that's the stupid shit about it. Somebody goes to jail for you and you have the ability to make that go away and you don't. What do you think's going to happen? They're going to come out with all your dirty little secrets. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just the stupidest thing in the world. These people, if Trump tells, if Trump pisses in their mouth and tell them that's the elixir, that's the elixir of life, they're going to swallow that shit down. I mean, come on, man. They don't have a, a person that walked this planet that I'll believe that from. <laughs> I don't give a damn who it is. God damn, bad professor, you own one. Hey, but you know, you know, you know the key to this? None of this would have been happening if Donald Trump had kept his mouth shut. Right. If Donald Trump had conceded right. the election and said, hey, I lost. 
None what, of this well, no, you. you know what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a push back on that okay, a little go bit ahead, go ahead, man. because Sorry. this had come up before 2000, mm. before the 2016 election. Okay. And then it was going to go forward, but he won. So they weren't certain if they oh, could bring man. a case like this against a sitting president. Yeah, I, I don't think you can. It and and that was the issue was they oh, were, okay. no one was okay. sure you can't this okay. this okay. been this been in the mix. Mm. This been in the mix, and like mm. I said, that's part of the reason why he's running for president again is yeah, to keep right. all these charges off his ass. But yes. he's so stupid, he doesn't recognize that the only one he can get rid of is the one that's going on in Washington D.C. Yeah, a president can't pardon somebody for state prosecutions. No. Yeah, that's right. That's so right. what's going on in what's going on in Georgia? What's what happened here in New York? He can't get from under those, and unfortunately for him. The Georgia one is as serious as the one in Florida. Now that one he can make go away. Yeah. Which yeah, yeah. which which will let you know he's full of shit. Because my thing has always been if you're not guilty of something, what the hell have you got to worry about if you're a rich white man? Yeah. yeah in this no, country, you should be able to get away with it. If yeah, I mean you should, you should be able somebody will find you not guilty if you're not guilty. Yeah, you know, he also says, remember, he also said that, you know, if you're if you if you're not if you're not guilty of something, you should testify. Right, you and not then, take the fifth, and then of course he pleads the fifth and don't testify, and don't testify, and and <laughs> and Taylor just brought up something that I was just about to bring up. How this country, and I brought it up in a video that I did on 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 the Mad Professor channel once. Uh -huh. I think one of my first videos is how can you be a convicted felon and run for president, but you yes. can't be a convicted felon and vote for president. And guess what, people? At this point, he's a convicted felon. At exactly. this point, he's a felon, and I can't wait. I, I'm gonna tell you what this none of this shit to me will be real until I see his orange ass in an orange ass jumpsuit. That's yeah. when I know this shit is real. I want to see him in a suit that matches his complexion. Hey, and my professor, my yo, professor, we got we got to say it right, man. Professor, he's a he's a 34 count. Okay, count one is guilty. That is a felony charge. Count one, falsifying business records. Count two, also guilty falsifying business records in the first degree count three guilty falsifying business records in the first degree count four guilty that's another felony charge falsifying business records in the first degree count five guilty that's another falsifying business record in the first degree felony charge three count Those. 24 guilty another felony charge count 25 guilty another felony charge falsifying business records in the first degree count count 33 former president donald trump found guilty Falsifying business records, count 34. Guilty. Wow. Donald Trump found guilty on all 34 counts of falsifying business records in the first degree. All 34 are felonies. They, Donald Trump has now been convicted of 34 different felony crimes by a jury of his peers in Manhattan. 34 felony charges for former president, President Donald J. Trump convicted of 34 felony charges having to do with falsifying business records to cover up hush money payments to Stormy Daniels. Uh, an unbelievable moment in American history. <laughs> yeah, we right. got to make sure we get the numbers right. Oh, 34. for sure. For sure. <laughs> That's my new number. That's my new <laughs> lotto number. Yeah. My new lotto number is 34. <laughs> <laughs> And, and and that that's just it, man. I mean, like I said, there's no way you can you can say that this is a witch hunt and this yeah. is all this and all that. No, yeah. it's not a witch hunt. Just because you want to say it's a witch hunt doesn't make it what you want. You yeah. know, he's guilty. He's been found guilty. And the and the thing of it is, he can appeal this all he wants. But guess what? That conviction in most in people's minds still that's stay right. there. It's, it still I'm, stay there. It, it, I mean, what 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 is it they say? Um, reality is what you see. Reality right. is what you hear. So right. people have seen and heard him be convicted of 34 felonies. I mean, that, that sticks with him. That's and right. it's just hey. like it's just like with them pardoning Steve Bannon. His yeah. ass still was in jail. Jail. That's right. That's right. Let me ask you this, Matt Professor. You know, you, I'm going to put it back up again. You know, my, my, my classmate, Miss Taylor Williams, I call her Val. You know, I don't call her Taylor, I call her Val. She asked this, you know, read this and tell me what you think about this, what she asked. 34 felonies. Now, what are they going to do? They're going to, uh, now, if, now, if you mean MAGA, they're going to stand with him because they don't care. Mm -hmm. 
that that and that's the that's the that's the sickness of MAGA. And people want to say Trump derangement syndrome. Guess mm. what? That sh that shit works both ways because yeah. you want to say people that don't like him have Trump derangement syndrome, but the people that support him have the same damn disease because you can't see what's in front of your damn eyes. You yeah. can't see that he's guilty of a whole lot of stuff that he admits. And that's the thing about it. Every time he opens his mouth, he admits to a crime. Yeah, and they yeah. still say he didn't say that. Yes, he fucking did. And then when you see it, they well, that's not what he meant. Yeah. So that, he's that's a, not what so he he's meant. a dullard. He's a he's a friggin' idiot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. come on, people. Y'all so y'all follow an idiot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all follow an idiot. And then my 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 thing is he's supposed to be the law and order uh, um president. President. But he but he's breaking more laws. Right. <laughs> than anybody. Now now I'm gonna answer the second part of Miss Taylor's question because she did mean judicial system, and that's what I was gonna get to next. Okay. Next the the, the problem is we don't yet know what the judicial system is going to do because by all rights, he should this be in jail. Thing. Yeah, but I mean, this is the first thing for a president, so it's kind of hard. Right, and he yeah. should be, in, honestly, he should be in jail now because normally when you found guilty of felonies, they take your ass to jail immediately until yeah. until they you can get bond forced and, and um, sentencing comes up. So technically, his ass shouldn't have been able to get into his motorcade and ride across and New York to his airport. He should have been locked up right there. And that's yeah. the problem is no one knows if he goes to jail, if they're going to have if Secret Service is going to have to be in there. That'd be like going to jail oh, for God them. Damn. I didn't think about that. Matt and, and that's kind of the problem is oh. him going to jail means he has to have Secret Service protection. So more than likely, he'll be under house arrest. But yeah. what 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 punishment is that? Yeah, because yeah. until he stops running for office, he's just going to be in his house any goddamn way. The yeah. thing of it is they should take all of his goddamn businesses from him and his mm -hmm. and the control of him from him and his family. Yes. He, and if he's going to be on house arrest, he don't get to watch fucking TV more than any other prisoner would. He yeah. don't get to he don't get to post on truth, social, social or truth, central as truth, central, as he calls it sometimes yeah. at all. So, I mean, all it it's. It, like I said, nothing like this has ever happened. It's happened to wealthy people before where wealthy yeah. people have gone to jail, but it's never happened to somebody who's afforded the protection of Secret Service. Yeah, you know, it happened to Richard Nixon. His ass right. could have gone to jail, but he should have. Yeah, he should have went to jail, but Gerald Ford pardoned him. And that's the only reason why he didn't and, spend no time. And you know jail. what? I think a lot of that goes back to what I was just questioning is what do mm. you do with Secret Service protection? Because mm. he has to have Secret Service protection for at least the next six years. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you can't you can't uh, uh, sentencing him to prison sentences them to prison, whether or not they're going in and out the prison uh, of free will and to just protect him like a like a regular um, work shift. They still have to be there. Yeah, but my, my question to you is this though. So since they find him guilty, and let, let's say that they say that you know he he doesn't serve time. Now, do you think the Supreme Court can step in and overturn what the, the state the Supreme Court rarely does state cases. They do okay. federal, they do mostly federal okay. cases. They will do certain state cases. Okay. Like um here in Louisiana, they turn they overturned some convictions because they weren't um unanimous verdicts oh, verdict. and that okay. was a and that was a state issue but guess what he was unanimously found guilty <laughs> so like i said they they honestly can't overturn this conviction because they don't have pardoning power they mm. if they would they could overturn if they would be able to overturn the conviction on some other case on some other issue like a mm -hmm. lot of people are bringing up the issue that his lawyers didn't know the extent of all the um felonies well that's because his lawyers are stupid yeah, I'm about to say, who fought his dad? He didn't exactly. Hire him. That that's it because it's just like with the E. Jean Carroll case. His lawyers didn't file the paperwork to have a jury trial, so they yeah. had a bench trial. Yeah, that's he had on a female law, uh, 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 Alina uh, Haber. Yeah, yeah. Her. So that's on his. That's on his attorneys to have done that. That's right. They, they didn't want to. They didn't get the full extent of all the felonies. That's on them. To me, I'm sorry. I can't go right. and say my. T I didn't understand charges against me when my attorney should have gotten them. That's and right. they keep trying to say, and because I heard a couple of his fans say this, this um, that the jury didn't get the full, um, didn't get full instructions until they were sequestered. I mean, not sequestered until they were going to to um, figure deliberate. out what. Yeah, deliberate. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But again, is they did get instructions right as the trial began. That's right. Then they asked for the instructions again, again. once they were That's deliberating. Right. That's that don't right. mean they never got them. 
That just right. means that they didn't understand them and needed a further explanation. So, That's I right. mean, come on with this bullshit about, oh, it's, it was this, it was that. Because guess what? There have been a lot of black people convicted of less, with less evidence and worse juries than he got. He got completely fairness. He got treated completely fair in this trial. And then another thing I he heard somebody. He exactly. Got he got to go home every fucking day. <laughs> and then I heard somebody complain. Oh well, the the prosecution went last in this case. It's normally the defense. The prosecution not, always go last. Well, actually, that in the I state of, of. A, in the state of New York, okay. the prosecution always goes last. Okay. In some okay. states, it's different where the prosecution goes first and then the defense goes in. Oh, okay. But okay. In New York, specifically New York State, the prosecution goes. The state goes second. Mm. But you know, you know, you know, what I was going to say about that, Matt Professor. But it's up to the state to prove that he's guilty. Right. Beyond a reasonable doubt. You know, it's the state, you know, it's the state versus Donald J. Trump. Or, right. Or, you know what I'm saying? You get, especially, you know, it's a federal charge, the U.S. government. It doesn't say, it doesn't say Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. Right. And it that's say, the thing about it. It says the state of New York. New York, which, that's right. And, and if these people were smart enough, they'd recognize that the state has, the, the federal government can't tell the state what charges to bring up on somebody. That would be malfeasance. Mm, mm, you see what Ms. And, Ms. And Ms. Taylor brought up a point, a, a point. Ahead that i hate when people say oh this is a two-tier justice system no yeah. if it was a two-tier justice system his ass would have been in jail for his nine exactly. counts of contempt of court yeah his ass would have been in jail soon as 34 damn felony charges were brought up against him he would have been in jail that little yeah. simple ass mugshot wasn't a damn thing because he got to walk away from that he didn't post a cash bail he didn't do nothing he just walked out so I don't want to hear this bullshit. There's a two tier justice system, but guess what? It works. In, it worked in his favor more than it should have. Yeah, yeah. Then he got he got he got the schedule of time when he wanted to turn himself in right. when he came down to right. Georgia. Right. <laughs> and and that's the saying? other part of it. Like I said, you you convicted of a felony in the state. If something happened with you, man on the street in Georgia, mm -hmm. you can't mm -hmm. come to Louisiana for a fucking rally. You you got to stay your butt in Georgia. I mean, come on now. Yeah. This is this is yeah. pathetic. And Miss Taylor's right. This completely exposed the disparities, the disparities in the exactly. justice system. Because exactly. and 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 people want to bring up, well, OJ got off because he had money. Guess what? S Trump tried to get off too. That's right. Hey, but and, but but just like just like OJ, he was judged by what his peers. His peers. His peers, but, his peers say he was not guilty. Right. And I remember um, Chris Rock saying if he was Orinthal James. Or, or rental James, the the janitor, his ass wouldn't That's have had him. the money for that defense. So, come on now, Trump's money couldn't get him out of this amount of trouble, which yeah. has done his whole life, which life. is why he yeah. thought he should get away with it. His yeah. whole damn life, he's gotten away with everything. He's gotten away with some of the stuff that he was charged with in this case. Exactly. All all of the business records, and I think, and I think the only the the one good thing about this is I'm glad it didn't go to a federal case because it could have gone federal. Seeing as how a lot yeah. of this was um was yeah. was was um what's the word I'm thinking about um the money that he got for his campaign yeah. campaign yeah. fraud. Yeah, a lot yeah. of this could have been charged as campaign fraud, and I'm so glad it didn't because again, being federal, then then. Congress trying to railroad everything yeah. could have gotten themselves involved in this. Yeah, yeah. It, no, then it's federal, you know, because some of the judges that he he appointed, you know, yeah. they could have got the case. Just like the judge down in um, Florida. Yeah, with you know, that. the Mar a Lago case, you know, she keep pushing it back, pushing it back. And and, and he basically, because he appointed her to um, right. judgmentship, I guess I, I might have said it wrong. The yeah, judgeship yeah, the judgeship. Or whatever it is. Okay, but, but you know what I'm saying? So she's looking out for him. And, yeah. and that's the part I don't get. You know, and, and if it and, was me, if it was me, if it was me, and I did the things that Donald Trump did, you can't say alleged now because he's been found yeah, guilty. Yeah, he's been found you know guilty. There's so, no more alleged. But, there's more alleged. So the things that he's been found guilty, if I was do it, and like you say, I'm Charles Jenkins, no money. Well, I ain't saying I got no money, but I don't have that <laughs> yeah. kind of money. I ain't got right. that type of money to right. get those type of lawyers. You know, I'm going to jail. They don't right. want to hear. They, they don't. They don't want to hear that. Hey, it was my lawyer. You know, I told my lawyer. My lawyer did this. No. My and, black ass is going to jail, and that, and that, and that, that, that's the defense that I heard somebody bring up, and it was mm. immediately smacked down because you can't say you did something illegal because your lawyer told you to do it. You have the choice to do that shit. 
Yeah. I don't give a damn who told you to do it. If if yeah. it was a if it was a person that's that walks around you and said, "Hey, I need you, I I think you should do this. It's illegal." Yeah. But the, the fact that they say it's illegal means don't do it cuz it's stupid to do it if you get caught. And that's the thing about it is it, it, most people when they're placed and, and I'm going to bring up what Miss Taylor brought up. Most mm-hmm. people who who are found in contempt of court are charged with contempt of court and go spend a night or two in jail. He paid a fine that amounted to pocket change. A thousand dollars per a thousand dollars per or was it ten thousand? I, 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 I think it's a thousand dollars. It was a ten it's a thousand dollars. It was yeah, a thousand yeah. dollars per per violation. How many how many violations were you going to give him, Judge Mershon? That that was yeah. my that, I think that was the thing that made that pissed me off the most about watching this case mm-hmm. and thinking that he might get away with it is because the judge wasn't holding neither him nor his judges for the most part under control. Now when it, when now when they tried to get um I think I I think I heard something about this Monday his judge his um attorney got admonished by the judge for saying yes. Yes. Please don't put this man in jail. Man in jail. Yes. That's yes. not the that's not the jury's job. That's your that's, job. That's right. That's, that's right. your job to keep him out of jail. That's right. And 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 I mean it's the saddest thing in the world. And yeah, Mr. Jenkins, you're right. Like I, I said it earlier. 34 fel- fuck two felonies and you're gonna be in county jail. <laughs> two felonies, not 34. And 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 people will say, well, it wasn't nonviolent. So it doesn't matter. It's still so? a felony. Exactly. And the thing of it, and and here's the thing to me that's that's the most important. For a lot of people, this will be important because they were saying that he's never been convicted of anything. So Mm -hmm. so how could how could we look at him as a criminal? Well, now he's a criminal. What's your excuse now? Yeah, exactly. What's your excuse now? Because they were saying, um, I'm I'm trying to remember exactly what I heard someone say um three three, four days ago, and it kind of slipped my mind that um him being a him not causing him attempting a coup the coup that he attempted yeah is okay because he's never been convicted of a crime before so that doesn't show that he's a criminal well what's that excuse now because here's the thing that pisses me off when people say that bullshit was Mm -hmm. it was an attempted coup so that means i can go and attemptedly murder you and because i didn't succeed i can try it again yeah, you, you know, you know, that's just like a RICO charge. A RICO right. charge. What it brought is that the guy, the, the guy, the head of of the crime family, he puts out the orders. He may not go do the crime, do right? He don't don't group do the crime, but other people go do. You know, especially they, they do what he says to do. Those right. the one that get caught, and that's why they brought the RICO charge. And who was the person that was leading the front on the RICO charge? Hmm. Um, Rudy Giuliani. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Mr. Coffee Bean himself. Yeah, and and that's why in Georgia they're actually charged with Rico with a Rico um, exactly. charge. Exactly, exactly. I mean, because because usually the guy at the top, hey, whatever orders he gives, it's the usually man on the loading toll pole that goes out and do does the crime. And when right. they talk about January sixth, what did Trump say? Trump said, "I'm going to meet you." Damn. I'll be I'll be marching there with you, knowing damn well he didn't have his damn golf cart, so he wasn't going no goddamn where. You know, fucking well he wasn't gonna walk. And I walked between the Capitol and the White House. It is a short ass walk, and you know damn well he wasn't gonna do it. You know damn well he wasn't gonna do that. Oh, back. And 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 see, and Miss Taylor brings up another thing. First time offenders, when you're black, they don't you don't leave the you don't live you don't leave the jailhouse you don't leave the courthouse until after the trial and you're found not guilty. Exactly, exactly. And and, 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 and you know what I was going to say, Matt Professor, is this. It, my thing is, I, I even though they might have still would have came up with these charges, but Donald Trump sunk Donald Trump by him getting on his social media. Right. By him, by him every damn night talking shit about the judge, him talking shit about the, the the justice system that he's supposed to uphold so much, that he loves so much. You put your own foot in your own ass. And that's and and see that's the that's the that's why I say MAGA has a has Trump derangement syndrome. Yes. Because there's nothing, there's no depth he can go down to where they will go, okay, I can't support this. Yeah. Everything he says is straight straight fact, excuse me, straight fact to them. 
Yeah. And they're not ashamed to admit that they don't care what he does. And yes. that's the scariest part about this shit. Like when I, when they found out he was guilty, my wife was on her way home. I'm like, well, I hope nobody don't do nothing stupid that's going to make mm. me go do something equally stupid. Mm. Because I swear to God, if somebody mm. touches my wife because they're mad that that Trump mm. thin skin or Trumpy Dumpty, as I called his ass, mm. is guilty of something that he's done, I'm going to jail. But, you know, and that's the funny part, though, Matt Professor, when they go do something stupid, he's not going to get you out of jail. Right. He's not going to put he's not going to bail your dumb ass out. He's right. not going to put nothing on your books. Your ass could be sitting in jail just like the shaman, that dude, the dude that put his foot up on Nancy Pelosi's desk. <laughs> Your dumb ass is in jail while he's out here. He's probably gonna go to Mar a Lago. Then yeah. he's probably going he probably gonna put something in the social. Cause I saw him post something on the social uh, I think Sunday. I just won this golf tournament or whatever. Yeah. You don't have his type of money. You don't have his type of connections. And, so and if you if you go do something stupid, your dumb ass is in jail. Right. And and that's the thing about it. And Miss Taylor is absolutely right. Nar and, and I'm going to add on to what she's saying. Narcissists don't see what they do wrong. They only mm. see themselves as victims mm. Every, all the time. They only see themselves as victims. And the fact that he can never say I, he, mm. he said they're not or, or when or when he's saying they're not coming after. Ap, he don't say they're coming after me. He says they're coming for Trump. Uh, they come. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, his, no. his 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 fucking son calls him Trump. Yeah, yeah. His oh, son no, don't oh, call oh, him dad. He calls oh, him no, Trump. Oh, oh no! What what I hear him say is they're coming after us because he's trying to get them to uh, equivalent to him. Where y'all two different levels, you know what I'm saying? And I hate to say this, I hope people don't take this the wrong way. People that usually support Trump, they are the ones that are the poorest of the poor. Well, yeah. Well, see, that's that's like let's let's I can go, we'll go back to Reagan and his election. Mm. When he went to, of all states, the governor of California yeah. went to Mississippi yeah. and talked about the welfare queens to get people to try to equate welfare with black. Yeah. But the thing of that is, and I've always known this, yeah. most people that are on welfare, even if you they, take, it, yeah. take population out of it, it's white. They're Caucasian. Yeah, they're white, Caucasian. Yeah. But broke white farmers yeah. um, have more on welfare than yeah. black people. Yeah. Exactly. And and that's yeah. what pisses me off about um these 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 um stars who say, Oh, the government gave you the government you traded your husband and your baby's dad for welfare. Yeah. No, they didn't. No, they didn't, because if you do it for one group, you'd have to do it for you all do it the for groups. All. That's right. And guess that's what? Right. Most white people on welfare is a two parent household. So yeah. black people not having fathers and mothers in in, in the house at all times, all the time. That's on us. That wasn't yeah. on the damn government saying right. we'll trade welfare for that. So come, right. come up with something else, black people who want to support um, conservatives. Come up with something else, please. Because like yeah. I said, Trump has been doing, been breaking laws his whole damn life, man. Yeah. His yeah. whole life. And the fact that he's finally getting caught at the end of his life, that's, yeah. I don't, I don't fucking care. I don't, yeah. I don't care. And, and, and truth be told, for people that don't know, when, when they start giving our government assistance, why did it do it? Because the America was coming out of what? The Great Depression. Right. And guess and, what? Guess what, people? Black people were excluded from that until the damn 60s. So, you know, I mean, I mean come on now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, come on now. And, and, you know, Matt Professor, we could talk about this all night. But my thing is. You know, and just like Ms. Ms. Taylor said, my, my classmate Val said, what's going to come of this? Even though he's been convicted, you know, do you think the judge actually going to say, Donald Trump, we sentence you to <sighs> so many years? And my, my next question is a two part question. What are the people going to do? Are they going to act up again, act a damn fool? And then if he is convicted and law forget, law, 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 I can't wrap my mind around it. He's convicted. And then he's get elected to be president because he can't pardon himself. He cannot pardon himself. And he and he can actually serve from prison. Oh, that's, God, the sad, that's the saddest shit about the way these people have set up this system to 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 accommodate him and people like him is he can. There's no law that says he can't serve can't. as president from prison. But you can't vote if you're a felon. But you can't vote from <laughs> you can't vote for his ass so he can get there. And people, yeah, I supported you, but did you vote? No, you can't. <laughs> I mean, no, you can't. And and the oh. sad shit is, I, 
man, mm-hmm. I wish that they would put him in jail, but I, I have a sneaking suspicion that yeah, they're not that they're, they're not, not going, going to. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have, I, I, and and it's sad. It's sad of me yeah. to say it, but I have a feeling yeah. that he won't see one day in prison. Yeah, yeah. But the stain is still on there, though. Yeah, that 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 stain that you can't go on. But he's two time what uh, um uh, impeach president. First yeah. time in, in first history. time in history. Now he's the first ex president to be convi- convicted of a crime. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he still he still got other things out there that he could be convicted and, of. And and the saddest shit and and MAGA fans need to get this. MAGA fans, if y'all listening, I'm I'm gonna say this as clearly as I can. This Thank was my professor. This was the weakest case he faced, and he was still found guilty. This one had less evidence than any other case against him and fewer witnesses than any other case against him. And he was still found guilty. Hey, but, you know, you know, the sad part about it is, uh, well, I don't say sad. The, 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 the craziest part about the people that he effed over are the same one that came back and bite him in the ass. Right. Because but, the dude from um, National Enquirer. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Pecker, I think his name is. That's right. The, the um the people that was in his cabinet, the two ladies that was in his cabinet. Yeah. Uh, I forgot got their names. Then Michael Cohen, the same people that he elfed over, came back and bite him in the ass. And then right. on top of that, though, you remember when he said that I'm only going to surround myself with people with the best, with the best. But if you look at his cabinet, all of them been convicted, all of them disbarred, right. all of them this and that. Right. So you didn't pick you pick people that was kissing your ass. He picked it. And that's the and that's the that's why it's dangerous for him to get back in yes. office because yes. all you have to do is tell him he's pretty, he's smart, he's the greatest, and you got him wrapped around your dumbass little finger. You got his dumbass wrapped around your finger, and that's and, and, all he cares. And and that's the narcissist that's in him. He has to be told how great he is, which is why if you listen to him speak, he only speaks in superlatives. Yeah, we have we're gonna have the greatest this. We're gonna have the best the, of that. Yeah. Yeah. Most people, most people who are humble about themselves never say they have the best of anything. They say yeah. they're going other than doing their best. They don't yeah. ever say that they had the best this, they did the best of that, or they're the greatest at this. Narcissists do use that kind of language over and over and over. And it shows how little they how little truth they have and That's how right. little capability they have. Yeah. And, and you know, you know, mm-hmm. my professor, before we get off of here, I want you to expound on this though. And, and this is what I tell some of my friends that, you know, I have conversations and they come to me and they got a lot of MAGA people coming to them. And, 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 and I said, man, you can shut them up just like this. Trump never passed anything. Right. Trump never passed anything the whole time he was in office. Right. And everything that he accomplished was off of Barack Obama, because when Barack Obama became president, we was in the recession. Right. Exactly. And then Obama took us out of recession for eight years and got the economy back on the right track. It got, got, got the stock market to the, to the highs that they started going to their highs. So right. when Donald Trump was elected, all he did was ride the wave that Barack Obama already <laughs> yeah. put in place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, that's the, and that's the thing about it. And, and, and I heard an, an idiom, I don't know if it's true or not, about presidents. One, mm. When you become president, the, the outgoing president tells you write two letters. Yes. One giving credit to yes. the to the um yes the, your predecessor and yes. the second one is blaming him yes I, I think that's i think that's how it goes i'm trying to remember exactly how it goes yes. but the thing of it is if he was smart all he had to do was ride on the coattails of somebody who had just done something for eight years and yes. did it what most people considered the right way was it the best yes. way no but it was at least the right way but yes. no because of his ignorance because of his racism that he feels in his heart, yes. he had to go and turn back everything, and then wonder why things started turning to shit. Exactly. And then exactly. gonna try, it. and and then he wasn't even smart. He 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 does this, and then COVID hit. It made it oh. worse for everything, and then that was the shit about it. Because he, he didn't know how to leave. He didn't. See, that's he the thing. Leave. He didn't know yeah. how to leave. Right. He, he didn't know how to leave when He's, COVID hit. That shows his. That shows his vulnerability right there. He didn't know how to leave because right. he didn't have the right personnel in the right position and the, and because the, he got well, rid of them. Well, he, that's what I'm about to say. He had the right people. He got rid of them. And the people that he kept, he wouldn't listen to. Because again, leaders leaders know how to listen to their subordinates. Yes. When something's going wrong or their subordinate has a better idea. And that's yes. the shit about every president that's ever been elected. They weren't the smartest person in the room at yeah. any one time. 
they they hired the smartest people. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. as president, you don't know everything, but you hire the people who do. And you know, I, I'm gonna say this, man. You know, I was an army recruiter for three. And a, you know, I've been dental for forever in yeah. doing my army career. So, and, and this this is an analogy that I like to tell people. I was, then I went to recruiting. I went to recruiting for three and a half years. But then when I came back to 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 dental, you know, everything has changed from the time that I was in dental. Cause I was gone for three and a half years. Now we got computers. Now we got, we don't write appointments on, on a form on a, on a slip no more to get. Now everything is done in the computer. So I have to swallow my pride and sit down with a specialist right. or, 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 or a private to tell me. And I was an E7 at the time to tell me, hey, hey, Sergeant First Class Jenkins, or oh, Sergeant Jenkins, this is how we do things now. So mm -hmm. I had to swallow my pride because I wasn't the smartest one, even though I right. have, I, I, I got the rank, I got the years in service, I got the years in dental on them, but they knew the system. Right. I would have been a fool to be like, no, you can't tell me, you can't tell me how to do it. And that's what Trump was doing. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm the top man in the shelf, so I'm not going to listen to you, even though you've been a general for goddamn almost 20 damn years or how long you've been, or, 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 or this or that. No, my way is the right way. And then, like you say, if you surround yourself with people that with low intellect, only, only thing going to do is kiss your ass, you get what you get. And COVID proved that, that yeah. Donald Trump didn't know what the F he was doing. What did he say? What? Uh, um, drink some bleach. Drink or bleach. He, drink bleach. Um, try to find a way to get UV light into your body, yeah. which your skin protects the inside yeah. of your body from. Yeah, I yeah. mean, just just the dumbest. Just, and 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 Miss Williams and and Mr. Jenkins, right? He spent four years trying to repeal everything Obama did, but Obama yes. was smart enough to have good people that knew how to get shit done. Because remember, they took the ACA to the Supreme yeah. Court, and the Supreme Court was like, "We don't see why this is illegal." Exactly. Exactly. And he has a low vocabulary and it shows because he can't use new words at any point in his life. He, that's why he has to say the same shit over and over and over because he's not smart enough to come up with a better, newer way to say the shit. And you know what else? You know what else? You know, my professor, before we get off of here, you know what else? You know, I blame the Republicans. I believe the one I blame the ones in the Senate and the ones and the one in, in, in the um, House of Representatives because they had something on the table. Where they always say we need to protect the border, but then they had a bipartisan bill that what did what they've been saying since Trump was in office. Hey, right. we need to protect the border. We need to do this and that. But Trump, just by him going to social media, I don't want Biden to get this win. They shut right. it down, and they and shut they, it down. They shoot it. They're shooting it down now. They won't even bring it up for a vote. And the saddest shit is the Republican is the one who who authored the majority mm. of this bill. Exactly. He exactly. a, a, a Republican authored this bill, so they got everything they've ever wanted. wanted they were going right. to increase the they were going to increase the number of border patrol agents by, right. by almost double, that's another right. fifty thousand border patrol agents, more that's money right. for them. They were going to make sure that if they took in a single um, illegal immigrant, they were going to get them out of the country immediately. That's right. That's right. Everything that's right. they've ever wanted, and that's because right. this orange dumbass. Said that's I right. can't win if this happens because that's right. Biden's already done everything I said I wanted to do and more. Yes, he right. said, "Don't allow this to go through because that, that's the other lies I remember Trump saying. I'm going to lower right. drug costs. I'm going to get infrastructure. Remember, it was infrastructure month right. for infrastructure. three, yeah, yeah, for three yeah. years. Buy American, buy American, yeah, yeah. buy American. <laughs> hey, hold on, Matt, Biden, before you, fin ahead, before you finish ahead. your soliloquy, it, 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 the bad thing is you get this shit made in China." <laughs> all of it all of it they cut off the made in china tags off of all his made in america off, off of all his make america great again shit all of it i mean it's stupid people come on come on and, 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 and that's what i'm saying man I, I know we all got different views you can vote for who you want to vote for we're not telling you but it's common sense though and that's the thing though if you see somebody that saying things that you truly don't believe and then you you blindly follow them you in a cult Right, hey, they say that. and you they can't they can't accept that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you in a cult, and, and you know, like, like, and that's why I say, you know, I got friends that are, are MAGA supporters. They 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 believe everything Donald Trump says, but then when I look at the way that they live their lives, and I say to myself, there's no way in hell if you actually sit back and think about, you know, you want to go up to somebody and say, hey, I could just grab them by the, you know, right, uh, you know what I'm saying? You want to say that, hey, you know, all people are criminals. They're sending their worst. They're not sending their best. They're he sending their that, worst. He said that shit again right outside the courthouse. 
Exactly. He said that right outside the courthouse because he can't come up with nothing new. And I mean, he's been saying the same thing in every damn speech over and over and over. And you know, these people you know. accept it because the sad shit is. And, and I think I said it yesterday um, after the show. Um, who that that stupid MAGA and it, it was stupid shit about it is it was a MAGA author who said it. Selwyn Duke. The further okay. aside, the further a society drifts from the truth, the more it will hate those who speak it. Trump mm, is God not damn. a truth teller. He's never been a truth teller. You think they call? You think he earned the nickname Don the Con because he's an honest man? Yeah, yeah. You, you're yeah. not an honest man if somebody calls you a con. Yeah, you're not an honest man when people does work for you, and then they don't. Once they finish the work, you don't want to pay them. Right. You, right. You, you're not an honest man. You, you know what I'm saying? I understand the taxes thing. If I got money, if I got money the way that they got money, oh yeah, I want. I don't want to pay no taxes either. I, I'm trying to find all the loops too. Hey, I'm not gonna knock him on that. And you know, he said that to Hillary when they had the debate. That just made me smart. Yeah, that makes you smart. But what makes you dumb is you just can't keep your effing mouth shut. Right, and that's what I keep saying about him. I've, I've said it since we started. Just uh, since we started 50 minutes ago, yeah. he cannot stop admitting his crimes. Yeah, he, he, he just can. can't stop doing it. And the sad thing is, like I said, his his followers are OK with that. But I guarantee you, if you said you did the same thing he did, well, you need to be in jail. It's, that's right. And, and the, um, there's a there's a group of guys that's on Instagram. I think they call the honest, uh, on, honest truthers or something like that. I can't remember who they are. Uh, but, please don't tell me it's them twin brothers because I yeah. can't stand there. No, 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 no. Not them. No. These, you know what I'm talking guys, about, right? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. These okay. guys go to Trump. Um, Trump okay. rallies and question people on something like they'll say something that Trump said and the person will say Joe Biden said that no and they'll no, show them the not. video of Trump yeah. saying it yeah well that ain't what he meant oh yeah I mean, oh yeah oh yeah I mean yeah. come on yeah you know that's just like um what's the they had the two black females uh, I can't remember them one one died Sick. Diamond and Silk with they dumb asses. Yeah, but then one one passed and oh, I don't care Donald about Trump. her dying. She, they were, yeah, yeah, he didn't but give Donald a damn that the girl. Yeah, he couldn't even remember her name. I, exactly, <laughs> he didn't know which one was which, and that and that that speaks to who he is. Yeah, that that he, that speaks to who he is. It's just like his boy died. Um, not not Ben Carson. The um, oh oh oh, what's the guy? This um, housing oh, the the man oh. who ran Godfather's Pizza and Pizza. got a oh yeah got a cabinet yeah, got position. COVID. No, you yeah. got COVID. He got COVID. At a Trump, Trump rally and died yeah. a week later. That's Donald right. Trump oh. didn't give a damn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I can't get his name. But yeah, the Godfather piece of guy. He did run for president. Oh, man, it's going to come to me once we get off. Once here, we man. get off, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But my thing my thing here, you know, like I said, you you could, you, you, you could see yourself in Donald Trump if you truly believe the things that he, he says. But if you have to sit back and you, the things that you actually believe in your life, it, it, it does a job. And I'll be the first one to say, and I say this in one of my podcasts that I did, I didn't agree with everything that Barack Obama did. When no. Barack Obama not was at president. All. Did I think he did enough for, for black Americans in America? No. 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 Because he's American for everybody. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's just, he just can't well, it, single us out and do, but he had to do his thing. And then, and then he had to what? Because what's my man, um, Mitch McConnell. What, what yeah, did he turtle say? face. Yeah, what did he say? He became my president? only job is to make sure Barack Obama is a one term president, and exactly. I will never forget when his ass said that exactly. So and, that and, just shows you right there that they, 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 they wasn't willing to work with him, right? To, for him to for succeed. the betterment of the country, which yeah, is the that, saddest shit in the world. And 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 I and I tell people all the time, I what I'm young enough, I'm I'm old enough to remember what it used to be like between Democrats and Republicans. I yes. wasn't old enough to vote, but they were always cordial. That's if right. it was something for the betterment of the country, they would at least try it. And yeah. if it failed, they'd go back and they go back on it. But not now. They yeah. only care about doing what's good, what what they think looks good for a certain sect. Yeah. And yeah. and that's the sad thing. And, and Mr. Joseph was right in his comment prior to that one. Common sense is a flower that does not grow in every garden. That's and it's right. quite clear. Trump and Trump. And his a lot of his followers have no common sense. It's like he tells you he was the best at something. I, I was the best wasn't. student. I was the best student. Show me your yeah. grades. Yes, right. Show, show me your transcript. It's that easy. That's right. That's I can't right. I can't walk around telling people I was an A student and had my my transcript have C's and D's on it. Yeah, yeah. You know, Matt Professor, I'm gonna get you out of this on, on this question. Then I'm gonna get your, you know, like we always do, I get people something. But I'm gonna get you out on this. Do you think the discord with the government started? when uh what, what's that party came the tea party when the, the tea, tea party, party came in the party that came in the power 
that's when distrust of a lot of government came in because the Tea Party decided that was their way to power was mm. to say we can't trust the government because this black man is now running it. Mm. And that's why when Barack Obama went away from office, you ain't hear from the damn Tea Party again. Mm. I don't think none and of me. I don't think none of me really in power anymore. None they? of them are. None okay. except for Rand Paul. Oh, but yeah, he, Rand Paul. he wasn't really a Tea Partier like the others. He okay. libertarians and Tea Partiers kind of fit in the same thing, but he's more libertarian than the Tea Party member. They just turned into MAGA to yeah. get themselves in power. And the sad shit is they got in power and decided to do nothing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's a good thing for the country that they decided not to do nothing. Yeah. But it still shows the sadness that most of them won't get unelected. Most of them won't get voted out of office because yeah. they tied their coattails to Trump for so long. Yeah. yeah. And a man who can't lead, they don't know how to follow. They don't know how to lead. They don't know how to do shit because he can't. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, you know, my thing is when they say make America, make America great again. And you have to think when has America ever been great? For, that, for people of color in this country that, and, and that and that and that's the key that i can't act but well, that's the that's the one question they can't answer yeah because well no let me rephrase that they can answer they won't mm. answer because they know they want to go back to the 40s and 50s mm. and they know that but they can't mm. admit to that because if mm. you ask trump that same shit again he can't even answer it and that's mm. why i always say these fools fell for a goddamn slogan and a red hat Remember the last time Red Hats took over this country, we drove them off the goddamn land. I mean, come on, dumbasses. <laughs> you talking goddamn the Revolution of War? I sure am. <laughs> I sure am. I mean, they wore black hats, but they wore red coats. It's the same goddamn thing. It's the same goddamn thing. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> I mean, these people are just the... They're, they're just the silliness, and 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 it's what I said before on 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 the um two two cigars and a blunt. He mm -hmm. made them comfortable to be stupid. Exactly. He made exactly. them comfortable to be ra as racist as they want to be, not yeah. recognizing that as a wealthy person, he has nothing to lose but money if he right, does something it. stupid. They yeah. have a whole lot more to lose. Yeah, and that's why I say you know when you go to vote. You go, I can't tell who to vote for. You vote for people that's going to benefit your way of living. And that's why I say I, I ain't saying that Joe Biden is the best thing that's ever been, but he's better than the alternative. Right. And, and, and then and then my thing is we seen what Donald Trump is when COVID hit. We needed a right. leader at that time. And we lost. I forgot the numbers of people that we lost during COVID because this idiot more than any other country on the planet. Yeah, then, then mandate for people to what wear a mask or stay home or, mm -hmm. or, or you know just be safe. You know he had people out there going out there and doing what they want to do, especially in the state of Georgia. Georgia was one of the main points, but this idiot we got up there, Kemp. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. you don't have to wear a mask or whatever. You know when you got people out there that's following somebody that don't know how to lead, and then you get the situation that you got with COVID. Because I'm gonna say this again. I'm gonna say this to the day somebody proved me wrong. Donald Trump wins that he got was off of Barack Obama. Right. I hate to tell him that. Except I, they, they that, I mean, except that. for his tax cut that he made for the wealthy for wealthy people that's that don't sunset, but our sunset. And oh, yeah. and, that, and, and yeah. you want to say he lived off Barack Obama. That's that's the thing that a lot of people don't want to recognize and and they they keep um harping on. Oh, well, when COVID hit, he gave us he gave us oh. that stimmy. He didn't want to yeah. do that. Democrats no. forced him into doing it. And then yeah. he put his name on it just in time right. for the election to act like he had done it. Yeah. He didn't, yeah. people. Democrats forced that through. Not yeah. Donald then, Trump. And then, and then, you know, the other thing that you say, you know, the tax cut. Yeah, he gave, he gave it for the rich. And you might have got a little break during that little time frame. But if you go back and look at it, it's actually, it's actually detrimental to the lower class. Right. If you actually go back, you're, you're actually paying higher taxes well, now. That, well, that's what because I... That's what, that's that's oh, what I mean. Trump. His hit the tax cuts for anyone that wasn't one of his one of his peers sunset after a couple years. That's right. The ones that's he right. made for corporations and billionaires are still in are still going strong today. That, and that's that's right. Man, Professor, man, thank you, man. I know you're oh, you, busy. You oh, know, you I'm, know I got you know when I, it's gonna come talking to Trumpy Dumpty, I, I you know I'm here for it. Yeah, like I told you, man, before we got on the air, man, I was outside 
chopping up our videos. If you haven't had a chance now, you know, I'm chopping up our video from our Wednesday night sports show, the Better Than Sex Sports Podcast. I'm chopping up our videos. Then I saw it. I had to call it mad because <laughs> I needed somebody to talk to. I sent a text message out. Nobody got back with me. So I had to call you because I know you would get on here with me. But mad professor, before we go, tell the people a little bit something. Tell, tell the people something. All right, folks, I'm going to tell you all this. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for, just like the man on the street. I won't tell you who to vote for. I won't tell you who to vote. You, I won't tell you to vote your conscience. I won't tell you to vote for the for the person who you think is going to do better for the country. But vote for the person who has done better for the country. Mm, and, 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 and unfortunately for you maggots, that is Joe Biden. Sorry to tell you. Yeah. And I, I'm just going to I'm just going to ride that coattail. Yeah, we're not telling you who to vote for. You know what I'm saying? But vote your conscience. Vote. Vote what's best for you. And this the ass white that keep asking y'all for money. Hmm. And he's supposed to be a billionaire. He was going to run saying? on his own money. Yeah. But y'all still sending him money. Never serve a day in, in, in the military service. But saying that they're going to save this country. Save the country from who? They can't save it from themselves because. They the worst of the worst. And right. that's just that's just my personal opinion of Donald Trump. I know I might have hurt some MAGA people feelings, but he 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 is the lowest of the low. I I, I saw something and then I thought this was a disgrace. Somebody uh, uh compared him to Jesus Christ being crucified. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I laugh every time I hear that. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I laugh he, every time I hear that one. Yeah, yeah. He he ain't being crucified. What he's doing is justice has uh, Michael Mess says um, the chicken has come home to roost. Yeah. And I always say this Donald Trump worst enemy is Donald Trump. And I think if we had to kept his mouth shut and just say, hey, I lost the election fair and square, even though they might have had this case against him, they might have just pushed it under the rug and like, hey, he's not going to get back in office. He's keeping his mouth shut. We're going to let it slide. But this dumb ass, this orange, uh, uh, orange Dapper wearing, red tie, hair, you know, goddamn. Pompfu or what the hell they call it? Pompadour. Uh, pompadour. There you go. This but he dude, don't have he don't have enough hair for a proper pompadour. So you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the dude that y'all want to be our forty seventh president, right? This dude that's thirty four charges. Uh, he's a felon now. This felon, yeah, he's a felon now. And guess what? Felon. Guess what, maggots? There's still another sixty three charges against him because the right. total was ninety four. If I remember, no, it was ninety six charges against him. That's he right. still has another 60 plus charges to go. And that's why they're trying to get rid of uh, um, Fannie Willis because yeah. she got that heat. Oh, she's going to bring that heat too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's going to bring that heat. She's going to bring that heat. But, man, Professor, before we go, man, tell the people how they can follow you. Oh, well, man, you can follow me on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram as the mad professor dot one. Yeah, yeah. And you also, you can follow us on what? The Better Than Sex Sports Podcast every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. On um, what is that? 5 Central? Five, no, no, six. It's six central. Six Seven central, east to six central. And four if you're on the west coast. Four, three. four, four. Actually, three. Three? Three on the west coast. God or, damn, I'm getting or a mountain. Oh, okay. Or a mountain. Well, Matt, Matt, tell them the time, Matt Professor. I'm fucking it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. You were right. No, okay. No, let me see. Seven eastern, six central, five okay. western, okay. and, and uh, I mean, five mountains. And, and four. Four yeah, they're three hours behind. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. You can find uh, us on that. Now I'm confusing myself. Okay. And also, you can find me on the Audacity Podcast. You know, that's what we're on right now. And also, Two Cigars and a Blunt. We goes down every night, 8 o'clock. Make sure you Friday tell a friend night. to tell a friend Friday night. Yeah, tomorrow's Friday. Uh, you said every <laughs> night, though. Okay. Oh, my, my I bad. I don't want people it's, coming on and be like, yeah, where the yeah, big okay. rolls at? Yeah, yeah. Every Friday night, 8 o'clock, you know, two cigars in a blunt. And make sure you stick around for the after show called Ashed Out. That's when we get down. That's where the party goes down on Ashed Out. And ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this is just a special thing. When I saw this, I had to, we just have to get on here. I needed somebody to talk to. I know my man, Matt Professor. Hey, we like talking politics. And that's why I try to tell people, hey, we, 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 we do it all. Oh, man. Yeah. You come for the sports. Hey, that's what you like. Wednesday night. If you want to come for for the show, hey, Friday night. But if you want to come and see some real talking about goddamn just just politics, oh, that's me and the math professor all day. All day. And that's folks, I'll tell y'all this before we go. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow night, um, I'm not going to ask for y'all forgiveness for my Scheidenfreude, but just expect it if we bring this topic up again. Oh, it's coming. 
Oh yeah, yeah it's, it's and y'all get ready. It, it, it's coming, it's coming. And with that, ladies, oh, 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 I gotta say this for hey, my, my main man Joe. Hey, I got your shirt. It's on its way. <laughs> yeah. As soon as it gets in, as soon as it get in, Joe, you'd be the first one, the first one from the two cigars and a blunt podcast to receive a, 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 a shirt from us. You know, and that's just our gift to you because out of all our, our, our all our people that watch us, all what's the word I'm looking for, Matt Professor? Consistent. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. He's a consistent uh, uh, viewer. Yeah, for all our consistent view, Joe, Joe is the main one. So, Joe, I got the shirt. Uh, I need to see where it's at right now. It should be here by tomorrow. I'm going to put it in the mail to send it to you. I, and of course, I ordered me one, too. I got sad. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I can send it to you. So you can be the first one. Hey, Miss Taylor, you coming up second. I'm going to have to get your shirt. I'm about to say, Miss <laughs> yeah. yeah. Taylor was on it today. Yeah, yeah. yeah Miss Taylor, I'm about to get you. I'm about to get your shirt signed and send you shirt as shirt as well. Because without y'all... It won't be no us. And that's what it's all about. Pass us like around, said, people. Give us that's right. Treat us like a good joint. Pass that's us around. Right. That's right. And make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend about us to make sure that's subscribe. And with that, I am the man on the street. And I am the mad professor. And thank you all for tuning to this special edition of the Audacity Podcast. And with that, we are out. <laughs>